the Senate's been debating the Democrats' plan today, the House, uh, the House plan. It raises no new revenues. It cuts corporate taxes. It would protect the Pentagon from cuts, but cut deeper into some domestic agencies like the FBI, like uh, the NIH as well. The centerpiece of the plan seems to be the, the balancing of the budget in 10 years. Exit polling after the 2012 race shows that 15 percent, 15 percent of the folks who were, who were polled said that cutting the deficit was the most important issue facing the, facing the country. Why the gap between what voters uh, say that they want and, and what lawmakers are doing there in Washington? Because the lawmakers who are developing and passing budgets uh, in Washington, D.C. are completely out of touch uh, with what most Americans want. Look, when Paul Ryan, in that footage that we just saw, says that they want to balance the budget and we don't, either he's not listening or he's purposely uh, evading the truth. We both want a balanced budget. The issue is, how do you balance it? Democrats believe that we should have a solutions-based budget uh, that does three things. Number one, uh, that takes a balanced approach to reducing debt because we've got to reduce debt. Number two, that is fair to the middle class. Their budget is completely unfair to the middle class. Number three, that invests in the right priorities, the smart priorities. Uh, their budget completely divests from the right priorities. Now, the bottom line is this. When times are tough and a family's sitting at their table trying to figure out what to cut, you know, they have a choice. Do we cut going to an expensive restaurant or do we cut sending our children to college? Democrats believe you cut going to the expensive restaurant, you keep investing in education. What this Republican budget says is, no, let's keep going to the expensive restaurant. And that restaurant is handouts to big oil companies, continued uh, uh, loopholes for special interests. No, invest in sending your kids to education and cut the special interest handouts. Those are the budgets that we ought to pass, and those are the budgets that most Americans agree with.